Daudi amewaita na amewaelezea shabaha ama kusudi aliyokuwa nayo. Wale wa Kristo wamejitolea and they the way wakapeana mali yao. Wakapeana kabisa kwa moyo ambao si wa kusukumwa. Na katika nchi yetu ya Kenya it should be like two years ago we had a very big issue ya kupanda begu kwa sababu ya ile 310 Can I say this in front of my bishop Sisi kama kanisa la AIC we don't believe in untwisting people to give Maana tunaamini tunastahili kutoa kwa sababu ya vile ambavyo ya Biblia imetuelezea Wakristo wapendwa, we have to cultivate the right attitude to us giving. Wale wakajitoa, wakatoa uh, kwa, kwa kujitolea, they were not untwisted. Wakapeana kwa roho yao wholeheartedly without any limit. At your own time, Jisome Exodus chapter number 36 and verse 5. Ye, Musa alibakuwa, anatengeneza hekanu. He did exactly what David did. He mobilized the people so that they can give contribute generously towards the project. Watu wakapeana wapendwa. Ikafika mahali whoever was in charge akaenda kwa Musa akawaambia akamweleza hao watu wametoa sana waambia wafanye nini? Wasimame. Every pastor would want to serve that kind of a congregation, right? Ama watu wanaleta mali mpaka tunakuwa na mtu ambaye anasema stop. Simama, imekuwa too much. Maana walipeana kwa moyo wa ukunjufu bila kuhesabu. Na wakaenda nyumbani faida wapendwa, wakaenda nyumbani wakiwa na furaha kwa sababu walimtolea Mwenyezi Mungu. Na wao ya kwamba tunapotabatisha ibada yetu sikia leo tunapomtolea Mwenyezi Mungu tutakuwa kama hao wa Israeli tutarudi nyumbani na furaha kwa sababu tumemtolea Mwenyezi Mungu Bwana asifiwe tanti ya neno mwambie I'll go home rejoicing because I've given to my God asema yes wakasherehekea wakafurahi kwa sababu ya vile ambavyo walikuwa wanamtolea yeye Mwenyezi Mungu. Aba pastor ambaye niliishi na yeye. And one time akanikumbusha hii ambayo imenisaidia miaka yote ya kutoa. But when it comes to giving, it is not a matter of calculations. It's a matter of your heart. How do you love God? Yaani nampenda Mwenyezi Mungu nikisikia oh kuna opportunity ya kutoa yes i want to be part of that and therefore wa Kristo wapendwa Mungu ametukumbusha ya kwamba ni vyema kutambua ukuu wa the project we serve a great god and therefore the project is enormous is huge but our god is also great and greater than this project Mwenyezi Mungu pia ametukumbusha ya kwamba he is the owner of everything that we own in this world now and in future. But the beginning point is surrendering your life to him. As he owns you. As he owns all this project. Lakini hatukombei hapa wapendwa. Tumekuwa pale wakati mwingi sana we are too theoretical this is the time for us to be practical na kusema ya kwamba tunaenda katika level hiyo nyingine as far as the operations of the church are concerned and we're going to do all these things for the honor and the glory of God. But let's also commit ourselves totally holy to this project. It's ours. Toa wakati wako, toa mali yako. Wazee wa mama, watoto haijalishi Socially where you are but you have an opportunity sikia leo that to be part of this project i reminded believers the other day this is not the time to read history this is the time to make history kwa ndio wakati wa kutengeneza historia 
lakini wapendwa ni vyema kuwa na the right attitude towards giving usipeane kwa sababu watu wanapeana siku ya leo lakini ni kwa sababu nilitoka nyumbani nikijua ya kwamba tunaenda kumtolea Mwenyezi Mungu na kwa hivyo nitatoa na roho ambayo ni safi na tutaenda nyumbani tukisema ya kwamba oh tumekutana na naibu wa rais na pia tumehusika katika kazi ya kumtolea Mwenyezi Mungu na haya yote yafanyike kwa ajili ya sifa na utukufu wake Mwenyezi Mungu and in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit and all God's people said amen amen god bless you Asante sana mchungaji Kasisi Reverend Isaac Kuria kwa ajili ya kutumiwa na Mwenyezi Mungu kuleta ujumbe siku hii ya leo. Na nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu tunapofika mwisho wa ibada. Nataka tusimame toimba wimbo mmoja lakini kabla ya hapo mimi sitasimama tena. Ninasema ya kwamba tunashukurani nyingi sana kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwenye nyote ambao wamefika kwa Your Excellency kufika kwa wageni wengine. Sasa tunataka kufanya kazi ambayo iko mbele yetu kama kanisa. Mungu amekuwa akituongelesha kuhusu kufikiria mambo makubwa. Tunamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu maana alitupia maono haya na amekuwa akiendelea. Na nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwamba imefika kipindi kingine cha kuendeleza kazi hii ambayo iko mbele yetu. Tuta proceed namna hii. Tawimba wimbo wa kufunga ibada na baada ya wimbo ule nitamwalika ambaye ni uh, askofu wetu ataweza kutukaribisha katika kipindi hiki baadaye mwenyekiti wa kanisa hili bwana Geoffrey Kirungu atatuelezea kuhusu mradi huu na ataweza kukabidhi ataweza kukabidhi ratiba kwa charity kadhambi ambaye ni mheshimiwa wa eneo la Njoro amekuwa msaada kwetu sana na mnashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa adili yake yeye huniambia yeye ni Esther yeye ye ni muombezi kama Esther na yeye kazi yake ni kuomba na aliniambia ni muombe na watu wao wakamsindikisha na maombi yao na nashukuru ya kwamba haya yanatendeka through her katasi siku hii ya leo na hiyo basi nitauliza kikundi cha sifa watupe wimbo mmoja sasa hivi na baada ya kutupea wimbo mmoja baada ya wimbo ule nitakuwa nitamuliza askofu atachukua kwa kipindi kile kingine na baada ya kutuchukua katika kipindi kile kingine tutaweza kuendelea kama vile ambavyo tutaelekezwa na mheshimiwa wetu wa hapa Njoro uh, charity kadhambi nitamuuliza sote tusimame kwa ajili ya ukuu na utukufu wake Mwenyezi Mungu tunapomwimbia wimbo huu wa sifa ambao tutaongozwa na kikundi hiki cha sifa najua kwamba Mungu atatukuzwa tunapomwimbia siku hii ya leo asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki asanteni sana Bwana asifiwe twende katika program zetu Tenzi namba 40 Nasikia kuitwa
basi tuwashukuru Mungu sana kwa mahali ambapo tumefika ni kwa sababu tumesikia neno la Mwenyezi Mungu tumejegeka katika roho zetu na kwa hivyo twasema uh, jina la Bwana likaweza kuinuliwa na kubarikiwa Your Excellency sa uh, tunataka kushukuru Mungu sana sisi watu wanakuru Joro uh, AIC Joro iko katika Nakuru area church council na tunashukuru sana kwa sababu eh, siku mbili ikifuatana umetebea katika area yetu ya Nakuru eh, jana ulikuwa kule uh, subukia katika Way Secondary School hiyo shule iko chini ya region inaitwa Nakuru North na leo tena uko hapa katika Joro region ambayo ni region moja ya area yetu katika area ya Nakuru tuko na eight regions all the way from Kulesoi na tunamalizia kule upade wa Zubukia ni vile tu county uh, imeenda that's how our borders are na kwa hivyo tuko na furaha kubwa sana na tunasikia tumeheshimika sana kama kanisa la AIC katika Nakuru kwa sababu ya kuwa uh, pamoja na wewe umeacha shughuli zingine zote za taifa hili na ukasema ya kwamba this weekend jana na leo uko katika AIC we are so humbled na tunashukuru Mungu sana na karibu sana basi kwa ruhusa yako your excellency nikependa kuchukua nafasi hii niweze kutabua viongozi wa kanisa katika region hii ya Jolo uh, wa kiongozi wa chama wetu ambaye ameleta neno la Mungu mngekuwa mmesimama ili tuweze uh, ku save the time viongozi wote na washukaji wote ambao wanaongoza kanisa hili katika Jolo region hawa ndio wanaongoza your excellency uh, the chairman is there Alfred Isaac Kulia na viongozi wa sewa kanisa na pia washugaji ambao wako hapa kwa washukuru sana mnaweza keti thank you very much tuwapigie makofi hawa ndio wanasimamia kanisa letu la IIC katika sehemu hii ya Jolo na kwa hivyo tuwashukuru Mungu sana uh, na tunakukaribisha sana katika Jolo na katika Nakuru area ni kwa sababu tunakupenda watu wa Nakuru wanakupenda Nakuru is home hata wakati ambapo unapitia any time when you uh, wakati unapitia katika Nakuru you feel at home tumekukaribisha na karibu sana basi uh, mradi ambao uh, tunafanya kama vile kasisi amesema uh, ni kweli ni ya uh, business lakini sana sana ile pesa ambayo inatoka pale tunataka kuielekeza katika kukusa kanisa ukiangalia uh, sehemu hii ya Jolo tuko na mission areas nyingi sana tukianzia hapa maushe ambao ni settlement area na pade hii gine ya lale ambaye ni semi aled na kwa hivyo when we are here tukiweza ku boost this church hii kanisa ya Jolo town ikiwa imepata gufu za kifedha it is going to be very possible and very easy uh, kuweza kusaidia makanisa yale mengine ambayo yanatusunguka hapa na pia the community ambayo iko hapa kwa hivyo uh, ile sababu kubwa ambayo tumeweka that dream ni kwamba kanisa hili likiweza kupata pesa within this Joro town it is very possible to sponsor missions it is very possible to sponsor washugaji itakuwa rahisi ku sponsor miladi mingine ya kusaidia uh, wananchi katika sehemu hizi za Jolo na kwa hivyo tunashukuru sana kwa sababu ya that dream na ninaamini ya kwamba siku hii ya leo we are going to achieve that dream kwa uwezo wa Mwenyezi Mungu. Ningependa kumwalika chairman wetu ambaye anaogosa kasi hiyo ili aweze kuja na ku make a few remarks and then from there nitampea our sister uh, honorable charity ataweza kuja na ku introduce wageni ambao wamefika katika mahali hapa. Asante sana and God bless you. Thank you so much our bishop. His Excellency Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya Honorable William Ruto, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. All protocol observed. 
I wish to thank you most sincerely for your presence here today. I especially thank His Excellency Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya for accepting to grace this historic day in the life of our church. Welcome to AIS in Joro Town. Your Excellency, this church was built by our forefathers in 1967, that's when they began, and they opened the church in 1969. Since then, the church has con continued to carry out its work of equipping its members and spreading the gospel. The church has over the years depended on the gener generosity of its members through tithe and offering. And like in most churches, the amount raised each month varies greatly from month to month, and it is never enough even to meet the recurrent expenditure. Your Excellency, three years ago, the dream of establishing a business center was born. The funds generated by this building will ensure that the church remains relevant in carrying out its role especially now as we face technology and other challenges. The church must be in a position to uplift the lives of the most needy in the community. The business center will open the main street of Njoro, providing space for supermarket, banking hall, hotel, shop, offices, and conference facilities. We all... After we, all, after we got all the approvals required from the county government, we began the construction of this building which is, on, gone, which is ongoing. We have a very special day, that was on March, that was on November 13, 2016. We held our first fundraiser to develop the first phase of this project which involves that two stalls, 17 on the ground floor, 17 on the top floor. And on that day, with the help of our brother, and I call him my best friend, Hezekiah Kiprop, Butotich, popularly known as Buzeki, on that day, on November 2016, God helped us and we were blessed to raise 5.9 million Kenya shillings. The total amount required to finish the entire project is 45 million Kenya shillings. And this is the total amount we, we, we require for, for the second phase and for the first phase. Your Excellency, allow me to highlight briefly some of the benefits of this project. We'll be able to grow our local church ministry many folds. The scripture reminds us that the harvest is plenty, but the workers are few. We would love to enhance our monthly mission work. We have a massive group team which distributes food to the needy and clothes each month. We would love to enhance that. We have another program. There are, there are some people, a few of our Fellow members died and left some kids here. We have continued to pay for their school fees and college fees. Some of them are now in universities as a church. We have done that as a church. We have continued to expand that program because we have other kids that cannot be able even to buy food. The parents cannot be able to buy food. We would want to, from the proceeds of this building, to enhance that. We would also want to build churches and expand churches. In 2016, in February, we got a piece of land at Tirani. We constructed a church, divided half of our members, and we opened that church and we left them. And that's now what we call church planting. This is what we would want to do. Currently, on this church, we have about 350 kids whom we co-sponsor with the Child Development Center. Your Excellency, the work ahead, is, ahead of us is tremendous. 
We have asked Buzeki to partner with us all the way to the completion of this project. It is my humble request that you will accept to partner with us until we see the completion of this work for the glory and honor of our Lord. So, as I conclude, today we pray and we ask God to visit us all with the spirit of generosity as we seek to raise an additional amount of 15 million Kenya shillings as we begin the second phase. Once again, I wish all of you God's favor, God's grace, God's love, and may I now take this opportunity to invite Honorable Charity Kadambi, MP in Joro Constituency, to take us through the next program. Your Excellency, our Deputy President, na viongozi wengine wote, makanisa, watumishi wa mungu, na mapastas wetu, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. God is good all the time. Thank you very much. Dio maana mumeona mungu, ametuezesha, kumuleta, na ibu wa raisi hapa kwetu. Your Excellency, staki dikuwe na maneno mengi, Naomba nianze maneno yangu sharp sharp na ninaomba kuwashukuru MPs wote senators wote governors wote MCS wetu wote nataka nianze kwa kuwakaribisha members of parliament kutoka other counties naomba tafadhali niko na waheshimiwa tutafanya sharp sharp His excellence amesema mpaka twende sharp sharp naomba tuanzie na wale wametoka mbali waheshimiwa wetu mheshimiwa kutoka Meru na kuona hapa waiala naomba tuanze na wewe wanyumbani hapa kwanza aya charity begins at home that what is excellence has said timu yangu ya hapa mkuja nikianza na jirani yangu mother alafu pia jirani yangu hapa KK naomba tufuatane sharp sharp Makamu wa Rais, Governor, Senator, Governor from Nyandarwa, viongozi wote, my fellow MPs, uongozi wa kanisa, Bishop na timu yako, MCA zambao wako hapa, na washiriki wenzangu. God is good and all the time. Kama unaniona nisalimie, buwana asifiwe, ilo sunoje so, mwana ni agosho, jinalangu ni Martha Wangare, MP wa Gilgil, jirani yenu hapa. Na tunafrai sana kuwa hapa siku ya leo Your Excellency ya kuna maneno mengi Nafikiri maneno ya meisha Yale maombi kanisa wa meomba Yale magoti ya kina mama wa mepiga Na machozi wa melia wa kililia Inchi yetu na amani Nafikiri sasa maombi ya mefika Ya mejibiwa Na sasa ni kusonga mbele Hakuna kuangalia nyuma Na tunashukuru uongozi wako na warais Sababu mko na roho kubwa ya kuakomodate kila mtu Sasa hata mahali kumebaki, hata wale wengine wameatua kwa mataa kidogo, najua wataona muangaza na wajoin sisi tueleke pamoja. Sababu, sisi kama wakaaji wanakuru, kila kabila iko hapa, sisi tunataka kusonga kwa safari moja, tukiendelea kuelekea maendeleo. Na ile kilio watu wanjoro wako nayo, hata kwa 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 si mambo na siyasa hiyo imepita. Sasa ni fertilizer ile serikali yako imeleta kuwe na trailer za kutosha. Waletewe mashinani, walime, sababu najua umeleta ya kutosha. Sasa tunataka ikaribie wananchi na waweze kujitaftia, sababu wako na mikono na wako na bidi. Kwa hayo tunakukaribisha na kuru na hatuna shaka hapa kwa kwa ni nyumbani. Unajua tulianza hapa jubili na tunaelekea pamoja. Mungu wa bariki. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, our Governor, Governor Jiranietu, Mwishimua Senators, Country Representatives, my fellow members of Parliament, MCAs, Viongozo wa Kanisa, na wanainchi wote. Muriega, Mwadhani Agosho, Iyomune, 
majina yangu naitwa Francis Kuria Kimani ukitaka KK ukitaka Obama wa Molo mimi ni jirani hapa in fact kitambo this was one constituency to donate njoro to our sister here <coughs> na leo your excellency our message is one wakikuyu walisema if you want to know the importance of peace try the absence of it now waingereza wakasema utakanyorire do yake na ona kamkoneke yakaga 10 years ago your excellency hatunge kuwa na such a gathering here na watu wa molo watu wa njoro wana kuru county tunajua hivi but thanks to a message of unity thanks to a message ya siasa ambayo si ya ukabila we are here united as the people of Nakuru County, as the people of the Republic of Kenya. And I must say Nakuru is unique. If you want the youngest member of parliament, you can't hapa. If you want the eldest, if you want even a member of county assembly with disability, you go hapa katika county yetu. If you want the, uh, the, the, the marginalized people of Giek, they are here serving as MCS. This is a unique county, a county that will go ahead and it's a model to the rest of the counties out there. As I finish, Your Excellency, Siasa Tulimaliza, Tunangoja Sasa Kufanya Kazi. What we want ni hii barabara ambayo tunaomba your excellence kutoka nakuru kwenda molo ikwe expanded hii ni magari ambayo badala ya kupitia barabara ya sachangwa tukue tunapitia hapa and lastly i know the, the issue of locking is very critical to this country na ni kitu ambao umechukua personally because we want to make sure to may achieve hiyo target yetu by before vision 2030 lakini pia economy ya molo Economy ya njoro ina rely sana na hiyo mambo ya swamili. There are many people ambao wanaajiliwa kazi hapo, but we are confident that you enable leadership, we are going to find an alternative income, alternative source of revenue to our watu. Thank you very much and God bless you. Uh, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, na viungosi wote ambaye wako hapa, na wasafiri wote wa mbinguni ya mchambo amjambo tena bwana asifiwe yangu your excellency aitakuwa mengi sana i just want to to join our pastor here our bishop in thanking you for giving us two consecutive days in akuru county yesterday we were together at way secondary school na ulifanya kasi mzuri sana na leo huko hapa tena na next month watu wa kuresoi south tena wanakusubiri so mine is just to wish you your excellency good health and and long life ah uh, ya pili nataka nipongeze viongozi wa hii kanisa kwa sababu ya ile fisho na maid ambaye nimeona na nimesikia hiyo ni kumaanisha ya kwamba hii kanisa kuna viongozi ambao so, wanaona mbali kasi siasi tulimaliza ama namna gani siasa tulimaliza sasa ni kuungana tufanye kasi pamoja tutavutie vijana wetu kazi tujenge mashule tubanue makanisa siasa next ni, ni 2022 na tunajua tunaelekea wapi si namna hiyo tunajua hapo isi ya mwisho ya mwisho your excellency nimeongea na watu wengi sana tangu juzi na kuna shita moja area hii shita hiyo moja your excellency is to do it uh, the part certificates. Part certificates, Your Excellency, Melete Shida, now an angel and all by you devolved to the county. Ama am an to the sub county, due to Pata Guayaraka, as and then Sana. As and Sana, Your Excellency, the, the Deputy President, the Governor of our county, His Excellency, Liki Nyanchui, Nana Mandamana, Nagavana Wanyandarwa. My fellow colleagues, Nawana India Mujambo. 
Mimi kwa Machina naitwa Mheshimiwa Warama. Mimi ni member of parliament ya Nakuru Town West. Tunataka kuleta salamu ya watu wa Nakuru Town West kucha hapa. Tukuche pamoja ndio tuone tusaidie hili kanisa. Your Excellency, sisi tumefurahia sana kwa sababu jana ulikuwa subukia leo uko hapa. Hiyo ni kumaanisha ya kwamba uko na na moyo wa kusaidia watu wa Nakuru County na sisi tutarudisha mkono. Ile kitu nataka kusema tu ni moja ya kwamba naona saa hii wa Kenya wote wanataka kuingia ndani ya serikali tuliona rais amekuwa na bwana Raila tunataka wale wengine wamepaki pia wakuja waingie kwa sababu sisi tunataka maendeleo si wananchi mnataka maendeleo kama hili tunafanya hapa leo lakini tuseme kitu moja tu your excellency ya kwamba hata kama wanakucha wajue ya kwamba sisi watu ya chupiri tulikuwa tumechipanga watakuja tu wakuja waangalie tuendelee kufanya kazi. Ikifika 2022 wazuriate maneno ya tiara na pita tatipi. Hao wakuja wakuja wakae chini watakuwa nakaa nyuma sisi tunakaa mbele tuendeleeshe inchi. Asante sana Mungu awabariki. Thank you. Your Excellency uh, our Deputy Governor, our Deputy President, our Governor Senator, our visiting governor, members of parliament, MCS, now Christo Wenzangu Amjam, Bwana Asifiwe, God is God, and all the time, and that is his nature. Na hitu wa kinudhi ya rashobe, mjumbe wa subukia, na nashukuru na fasi hii, kuwa mbele yenu hapa na bishopu kazi yangu ya Ukristo ilianzia katika kanisa la AIC kwa hivyo msingi wangu wa Ukristo ilianzia hapa na unajua foundation ya mtoto mahali imetoka ndio inamuonyesha mbele kwa hivyo najivunia kuwa mtu wa AIC lakini kwa leo tumekuja kufanya kazi ya Mungu tumekuja kurudishia Mungu shukulani kupitia ujenzi ambao uko mbele yetu kwa sababu pia maombi yenu ambao mlifanya ndio imefanya nchi yetu ya Kenya isimame kwa amani na ndio unaona mkiendelea kuomba ndio unafanya watu wengine wanavuka pande ile ingine wanakuja wanatafuta uhuru mwigai kanyata wanasema twende safari moja ndio Kenya iendelee mbele ningewaomba tuendelee kuomba ndio nchi yetu iendelee kwenda mbele mimi sina mengi ya kuongeza bali ni seme kwamba najua pia your excellency kuna wakati baba moyo alisema ukikata muti panda mbili si ndio na najua wananchi wakichukulia jukumu hilo wakikata mti mmoja wapate mbili hata hiyo maneno ingine utaangalia baadaye na la mwisho ni kushukuru jana ulikuwa subukia na ulitufanyia kazi mzuri sana na leo naona pia uko hapa lakini wakati ulikuwa subukia watu wa subukia waliongea na wakasikizana kwamba 2022 wako na rais wao William Samoei Ruto na, na nyinyi watu ya Njoro mnasemaje Mungu awabariki sana. Uh, naibu rais. Uh, ndugu yetu William Samoei Ruto, governor, wageni waheshimiwa. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Mungu ni mwema kila wakati. Uh, mimi nimekuja hapa mwanzo Uh, nimetumwa na ndugu yangu ambaye ni deputy speaker wa National Assembly uh, ndugu yetu bwana Moses Cheboi uh, ambaye ndiyo mjumbe wa Kurisoi South hakuweza kufika kwa sababu ya kazi kidogo lakini alinituma niambie kiongozi wa kanisa hili ya kwamba angependa sana kuja katika kanisa hili kwa sababu hapa 
ndio walipopata ile sakramenti ile ya marriage this is a church where Moses Cheboy alioa bibi yake kutoka hapa na nashukuru kwa sababu yule padri yule fa, uh, priest not priest pastor ambaye ali preside over maombi yake nasikika kwa sababu Cheboy to date he has a very very stable family na nashukuru kanisa kwa hiyo kwa hivyo hata kuweko na amenituma pamoja na mchango wake nitalete baadaye anasema ni asante mimi sitasema mengi mwanzo ni kushukuru uh, ndugu yetu ambaye ni makamu wa rais kwa kazi nzuri ambaye anafanya it is true na kuru ni mahali ya kila mtu na kama tutaweza kushikana hapa mambo itakuwa mzuri asante kwa kanisa kwa sababu ya ile mambo mnaomba unajua katika biblia nilikuwa nauliza ndugu yetu uh, bishop hapa nyuma anieleze ile maneno ya jona pamoja na ile watu unajua kuna king alialika watu anataka kuwapatia cheo na akasema anataka wale watu wenye vipara sasa watu wengine wakajua hii ndio nafasi wakaenda wakanyoa nywele na wakaingia ilipofika siku ya kuchagua yule king akaerisha akasema nitaifanya wiki ijayo by that time ikifika wale walikuwa wamenyoa nywele ikafanya nini na wakajulikana sasa hapa tulifanya maneno ya uchaguzi na tunajua na tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu sana kwa kuingia katika roho ya mzee Raila Amolo Odinga Neni kama John alitumwa ende huku anatoroka lakini samaki akatumwa akachota yeye akampeleka wapi tayari samaki walimchota na wakampeleka mahali anafaa ana nafikiria sasa we will have a very very and we thank uh, mheshimiwa Raila unajua wale wengine wanaanza kupiga kelele kwa nini hatukuitwa siku ile waliitwa wakabishi walitoroka alienda wakajificha kwa nini za hiyo anataka kwenda kuitwa hiyo ni ligi ya uhuru kenyatta tunaomba kalozo na wewe mdosi uialike kalozo hiyo ndio kiwango yako na yeye na nyinyi mufanye negotiation na yeye tunasema na yeye wetangula waende wakutane na majority leader kule bungeni kwa sababu hiyo ndio kiwango ya wetangula sivyo na yeye mudavadi aende atafutane na yule mtu alikuwa hata mimi juu nilikuwa chief campaigner ya uru kenyata aguje tunegotiate na yeye na nimuelezee na nataka kusema ni asanti sana kwa sababu uh, katika serikali ya rais Uhuru Kenyatta pamoja na makamu wake hiyo nyumba ni kubwa na viti ni vingi wanataka ku kwa hivyo nataka kusema ni asanti sana na kwamba sisi tutafanya kazi pamoja uh, kama watu ya Nakuru asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki Mheshimiwa Gujiri please tunakuomba Asante sana. Ningetaka kuchukua nafasi hii, Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, na watu wa Njoro wote na wageni wetu, na magavana wetu ambaye tuko nao hapo wawili. Yangu itakuwa tu ni kuhakikishia wewe ni kuwa mwenyekiti wa wajumbe wa hapa. Sisi tuko nyuma yenu na uhuru mgai Kenyatta. Mlituhakikishia 2013 hakutakuwa na crashes, hatakutakuwa na shida. Na tangu siku hiyo tumekaa kwa njia nzuri. Ukiangalia pandili ya mbele utaweza kuona amani ya production iko juu sana. Kwa sababu ya amani kuka hapa. Kwa hivyo tunashukuru sana. Na tutaendelea na hiyo style hiyo 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 ili tuweza kuweka inji kwa njia nzuri. Na amani ikiweko mambo yote ni mzuri. Sina mlai watu wa Njoro. Sisi wajumbe wa hapo wa Jibili hatuna vita na mtu. Sisi kazi yetu ni kuwafuata na kuweka amani. Mkihubiri hii na sisi tunafanya nini? tunahubiri. Na tunashukuru kwa siku ya leo kwa sababu tuko na gavana Kememi hapa ambaye wakati alikuwa kwa serikali haitusaidia sana. Hata ndugu yangu Kemani ambaye watu wanasemaga mambo mengine angepata kiti hiyo kama siwe ulisaidia kukawa hapa mkiwa na deputy na wengine. Tunakushukuru sana na tunataka uhusiano wako na gavana wetu wa Nakuru kwa sababu ya maji. Maji umetusaidia kutoa pandi hii na inakuja lakini tunataka uhusiano wa nyandaro wa sana kwa governor na governor na siwa jumbe ili tuweze kupata maji yafanya nini maji ya kutosha na sisi hatuna mambo mengine tunataka tukusema no era no era no era ama sina mna hiyo patraisa ikuje
na tuletewe mambo ya sivyo board karibu tuuze chakula zetu broker atumalize kidogo mambo mengine iweze kuwa laini mambo ya viazi tunajua governor wawili wanafanya hiyo na sisi tukua kama wajumbe tunahakikishia nyinyi tutaweka amani na tutatembea pamoja na tutakuwa na shida shida yetu tulikuwa ni safari ile ilikuweko safari wengine wakienda Canaan lakini walifika Canaan kuna siasa ya binguni na kuna siasa wapi ya hapa Canaan ya hapa duniani waliingia juzi na wakakutana na rais wetu sasa hiyo Canaan mambo yamefanya nini na tunashukuru Leila Odinga kwa kufanya hiyo na wao wengine wanasunguka sunguka wajue siasa uzipochora utacholewa usipochora utacholewa kama walicholewa wanaomba appointment ya last week na huyu akakimbia mbele sio ni kuchorania siasa sio hasa siasa ni kuchorania mlicholewa mkae bahasha mkuje pole pole tufanye kazi pamoja tukuwa wana Kenya wote Mungu awabariki na Mungu awe nanyi Mheshimiwa Nyoro kutoka Nyoro please na kuomba alafu lesonet Mheshimiwa Deputy Rais ambaye pia kwa mapenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu ni rais wa tano wa Kenya wanasiasa wenzangu the house of clergy na wananchi bwana asifiwe mwadhani gagoso mimi nitapeana my point kidogo tu uh, mheshimiwa deputy rais unikubalishe tu nipeane kastori kidogo tu mimi tukianza campaign vile mtu wanaenda kwanza ndio watu wamjue nilikuwa naenda kule mashinani na jamaa mwenye alikuwa kama driver yangu jamaa mwenye alikuwa amekula vizuri kama gekari ya hapa so nilikuwa naenda kule mashinani nasikia wamama pale nyuma wakiulizana ni huyu ama ni huyu sana sana wengi wakaona yule mnono alikuwa amekula vizuri lazima angekuwa yeye sasa siku moja tukaenda kanisani huko kwetu Muranga town nikapata rafiki yangu alikuwa anahubiri na akahubiri kutoka kitabu cha Luka 12 22. Ile inasema do not worry about anything kwa sababu hata ndege wa hewani hakuna mwenye anaamuka kuendesha boda boda hakuna mwenye anaamuka anachukua uh, anaenda kulima lakini lakini hakuna mwenye hulala jaa na kwa hiyo wakati kwa sababu nilikuwa naomba watu wanipee kura hiyo word ikaingia sana kwa roho yangu na vile iliingia mheshimiwa deputy rais unajua sisi wana siasa tunaendaka kanisa moja Alafu tunaenda ingine kwa vile pengine dhabi zetu ni miki sana. Sasa hiyo wakati pia nilikuwa naenda chachi ingine ya SK huko kwetu. Na nikaona kwa vile word imeingia sana kwa roho yangu. Nikipewa nafasi kwa ile kanisa, nitasoma tu ile ruka ndio wananchi wajue kwanza hii kijana inajua Bible. Na nababiri wajue kama hii kijana inaelewa Bible hivyo, hawezi kula pesa yetu ya CDF. Mimi nikaingia katika ile kanisa nikapata retired bishop wetu ndiye alikuwa ahubiri lakini sasa mheshimiwa mtarajiwa akaitwa kwanza na nikaamuka sasa ni mimi nikasalimia wananchi na nikawaambia wamama wa baba wenzangu twende katika kitabu cha Luka 12:22 na nikasema do not worry about anything na mheshimiwa deputy rais hiyo siku ile makofi nilipigiwa nikajua kura imepatikana lakini ile kitu ilishagaza sana ni ya kwamba vile bishop aliamka ahubiri alinipointa kaniambia bwana nyoro lazima uwapie wananchi ama wakristiano samoni yangu ulipia wapi kwa sababu naona noti niko nazo hapa lakini umehubiri yote hiyo kwanza nikajua ni endorsement ya bishop lakini nikajua hiyo siku eh, hiyo siku lazima ni mugu alikuwa ananiogelesha that kijana yangu do not worry about anything na hii maneno imefanyika katika nchi yetu ya Kenya juzi. Tukaona rais wetu Uhuru Kenyatta na tukaona Raila Odinga wakiwa wanaume kamili na wakasalimiana. Sisi mimi najua ya kwamba Mungu alikuwa anagoja wale yetu yende chini ndio ajionyeshe yeye mwenyewe kwa sababu is a god of peace na najua Kenya itaendelea kuwa na peace. Ya mwisho mimi ni mbuga wa Keharu. Na kule Keharu ndio mkuru wa Nyagadanga wa Kikuyu walichoka. Mheshimiwa deputy rais na kuhakikishia ya kwamba wakikuyu wote tukianza Muranga tuko na kikapu moja tu ya kiti cha urais na hiyo kiti ni ya hasora namba 
William Samoei Ruto. Asante sana. Mheshimiwa tuchukueni nafasi kidogo kutoka hapa mheshimiwa uh, mheshimiwa Toitoek Daniel wewe utakuwa the next. Naibu Rais wa Jamhuri wa Kenya Mheshimiwa William Ruto Governor wa Nakuru Lee Kinyanjui Governor wa Nyandarwa Mheshimiwa Kimemia Wabunge wenzangu na maseneta ambao wako hapa Members of County Assembly Viongozi wa kanisa hili AIC na wananchi wote Ningependa kuwasalimu katika jina la Yesu Mjambo Mjambo tena kwa majina mmesikia mimi naitwa Lesonet Moses nawakilisha sehemu ya bunge ya Elda Maravin kule county ya Baringo Tumekuja hapa kusaidiana nanyi kwa kazi ya kanisa ambaye tunashukuru kanisa kwa kutafuta marifa ya kupata namna ya kuendesha kanisa mzuri bila upungufu ya pesa na tukiwa hapa nakuru kwanza sisi jirani wa Baringo tunashirikiana nanyi sana. Senta yetu ama tauni yetu ni hapa nakuru kila asubuhi watu ya Ravin wako nakuru. Na tunashukuru ile maendeleo ambayo inaendelea nji na naibu wa rais na kushukuru hata kwa mradi wa Chemozusu ambaye bado itamwaka maji sehemu ya nakuru hapa Rongai. Na tukiwa hapa leo naibu wa rais naonekana katika taifa letu leo tumefungua ukurasa mpya. Ukurasa ya mapenzi kupendana, ukurasa ya kukaa kama jamii moja ya taifa la Kenya. Na naibu wa rais sisi kama wabunge kama iko sehemu ambayo unahitaji bunge ifanye ili hiyo kukapa moja iendelee mzuri hapa Kenya tuko tayari naibu wa rais kufanya hiyo sehemu kama iko sehemu ya bunge na pia naibu wa rais hiyo ukurasa mpya ni kuonyesha baada ya uchaguzi baada ya uchaguzi taifa ya Kenya lazima iendelee kama taifa moja na tunawashukuru kwa kuona namna hiyo kwako na rais Uhuru Kenyatta na tutawaunga kabisa kwa hiyo kuhakikisha Kenya hii imekaa kama taifa moja ili kazi iendelee na kwa hayo nasema Mungu abariki asanteni sana Bas, Your Excellency the Deputy President Area Bishop our governors Senators, my fellow MPs, pastors and MCs, yangu takuwa machache, najua mengi mesemwa, kwa asa tu ni kushukuru na kusema sisi kule baringo, wa behind you, your excellency and the president, kwa hile kazi nzuri ya bama barabara na mandeleo mbali mbali. Yangu tu ni kurequest, jana nilikuwa mpande wa mogocho, wali request kwa mba hii manani ya birth certificate. Isongeshwe, your excellence. Ita tuwa na iwezekani wa maomba kwa unyenyekebu kwa mba serikali wapea muda gidogo paka lapta september kwa sababu watu wengi wanatafuta hiyo kitu na wanainchi wameteseka sana. Na leo ni mekuja tu kuungana kwa hii kanisa tujenge na staki kuongesa mengi na jua huko na maneno tunataka kusikia kutoka kwako. Kwa hiyo machache, mimi ni Dr. Daniel Twitaik kutoka sehemu ya Baringo Mogotio constituency Your Excellency Naibu wa Rais magavana ambao wako hapa Madam Senator viongozi wenzangu ambao mmefika hapa katika siku ya leo the clergy wananchi wa Njora amjambo amjambo tena 
Kwa majina mimi naitwa Joash Nyamoko mjumbe wa North Mugrango katika kaunti ya Nyamira. Your Excellency ningelipenda kuchukua nafasi hii wa kusema asante sana kwa mwaliko mwema ambao umetupatia katika kanisa hili na pia niseme congratulations kwa ile kazi nzuri ambayo kanisa ya AIC Njoro inakusudia kufanya tumefika hapa ili tuweze kuungana pamoja na nyinyi katika kusukuma kazi hiyo na pia nichukue nafasi hii kwa kusema congrats to the president his excellency the president na yule mwezetu mheshimiwa Raila Odinga kwa ile kazi ambayo walifanya on Friday kazi ambayo imetufungulia milango ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba maendeleo katika nchi yetu inaendelea ama sio hivyo kwa hivyo singelipenda kuchukua nafasi kubwa yetu ni kusema ni lazima tusimame pamoja watu kama wetu wa wakisi we know we are spread all over the country ukienda coast tutatupata hapo najua hapa mahali tuko molo tuko wakisi wengi kwa niaba ya wakisi wote wale viongozi ningelipenda kuchukua nafasi hii ya kutoa hakikisho ya kwamba tutashikana pamoja mpaka wakati tutaanza siasa nyingine ambayo itakuwa ni 2022 Mungu awabariki ukienda nyumbani mpeleke salamu za kutoka Nyamira na Kisi County Asanteni sana Mheshimiwa Mpuri please dakika sharp sharp alafu kutoka hapo tutaenda kwa Rehema mheshimiwa kutoka Isiolo alafu women rep na kuru. Haya Wananchi ya mjamboni Tumsifu Yesu Kristu Asanti sana kwa majina naitwa Mpuru Aburi mjumbe wa kutoka kule Meru lakini William Ruto wakiwa na uhuru mwenye Kinyanta walipropose mporo mtaburi kwenda kule East Africa Community kwa kiliza wa Kenya. Hebu nipigeni makofi kwanza. <laughs> ya kwamba mimi nina imani na mimi namjua Yesu Kristo. Mmesikia njia ni aburi. Mimi ni ndugu yake mdogo Raila Amolo ndiye kutoka Meru. Na yule anajua baba mtoto ni nani? Ni mama. Si ni kweli? Hata wale watoto kwa naye waine pengine moyo sio yako na mwingine. Yangu ni kusema na imani ya serikali ya uhuru mwenye Kinyanda. Na sisi wa Meru kutoka Bosi mpaka Ntonyiri tuliamua ya kwamba ni uhuru hakuna mwingine. Na ile ndebe ambaye mheshimiwa William Ruto ambaye tuko naye hapa aliyepigia uhuru mwenye Kinyanda kule Meru. Sisi wa Meru tumeamua 2022 ni William Samoi Ruto. Na hakuna shortcut hakuna kurundi nyuma yule anataka kumwacha ambaye hapo hapa amwache akiwa ya kwamba wa Meru atakufa na yeye na ingine nikimalizia kwa sababu ya mataimu ya kwamba sisi wa Meru tunasema kwamba hakuna maana ya kupembeleza punda mteremko iachilie teremke wakati wa kupanda utaipembeleza mheshimiwa William Ruto wewe sio mtoto mkiwa na uhuru kinyata tulisimama na kanu na mimi nisimama na kanu tu tu Tulipasimama na kanu mwaka mwaka 1999 tulipopelekwa nikiwa NDP tukapelekwa na Raila kwa kanu nikauliza Raila kwa nini wewe umetupeleka kanu akaniambia hapana wewe mpuru mtaburi sisi tunasema kwamba hii ni kuku hii ni hii ni tinga tinga iko kwa tumbo ya kuku na nikihurumiza kuku itaisha kwa hiyo mheshimiwa rais sasa naibu wa rais utakuwa rais mheshimiwa naibu wa rais eti ya kwamba usiambe uongo na Raila kwamba ana support njubili tunaambia Raila kama unataka kuingia serikali ya njubili usiingie mguu moyo ikiwa nje ingiwe kwa ndani ingiza miguu yote pa na story hii mimi sikatai kuya kwa Raila nasema kwamba akuye kwa amani na asikuye kwa vita na akia ajue ya kwamba rais wa nchi yetu ni uhuru mwe Kenyanta na naibu wake ni William Samoei Ruto na 2022 asema kwamba mimi nasema kwamba William Ruto tosha kuna kitu kingine kwa sababu mimi nina imani na nyinyi Mungu hawaendelee kuwainua Mungu endelee kuonekania 
na ukilala usiku ukiangalia pande hii wasema Yesu anaweza na pande nyingine afadhali Ruto Mungu awabariki thank you so much may God bless you thank you the deputy president of the republic of guinea the governors present the senators my colleagues members of parliament mcs wazee wa kanisa mabibi na mabwana bana sifiwe god is good all the time asante ni sana mimi kwa jina naitwa rehema jaldesa natoka county ya isiolo mimi nimechaguliwa kuwakilisha wakina mama wa Isiolo. Leo niko na furaha kubwa sana kutembea hapa Njoro kama nimeinvitiwa na dada yangu mheshimiwa Charity. Charity tulitoka na ye mbali, tuli hustle miaka wa 2013 tulijaribu tukaambiwa wakati wenu bado sasa nafurahi sana wakati wetu imefika na kwa uwezo wa Mungu na leo tukasema tukuja tushikane tujenge nyumba ya Mungu. Kwa hivyo nawashukuru sana watu wa Njoro kupatia huyu mama nafasi najua ni mama mwenye yako na bidii na atapeleka Njoro mbele. <coughs> ya pili nataka nisema ya kwamba nachukua nafasi hii. Ni shukuru Rais wetu His Excellency President Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta na makamu wake Mheshimiwa William Ruto kwa kupweka nchi yetu mbele. Hii mambo ambaye imetendeka sasa walianza kitambo. Tangu tarehe nane mwezi wa nane wametafuta usalama, wameitisha wa, wake wapeleke Kenya walete Kenya pamoja na wameita ndugu yetu Raila lakini nashukuru Mungu ya kwamba aliona Kanan iko hapa Kenya na akakuja kuungana na sisi tunamshukuru sana. Nataka tu niseme ya kwamba sisi wanajubli. Ni watu wa kupenda maendeleo, ni watu wa kupenda amani. Kwa hiyo mkataba ambao imewekwa na mimi kama mama nataka mambo ya reconciliation iwekwe kwa hiyo mkataba kwa sababu kuna watu kuna watoto kuna wamama ambao wameuawa bila sababu kwa hivyo wewe kama umeona unataka kuleta Kenya pamoja kwanza enda uombe msamaha utubu utembee kwa hiyo familia ambao wamepoteza mapenda zao mimi ujembe yangu itakuwa ni hiyo fupi na niseme watu wa Isiolo wameleta salamu na sisi tuko imara kwa jubli 2022 tupeleke William Ruto wapi asanteni sana yeah asante sana Uh, mheshimiwa wetu DP Honorable William Ruto viongozi wote wengine ambaye tuko pamoja na hapa mheshimiwa wetu uh, governor wa Nakuru County mheshimiwa senator MCS ambaye wako hapa na deputy speaker na speaker wetu wa county na viongozi wa kanisa kutoka bishop na viongozi wote wa kanisa bwana Yesu asifiwe eh hey, ni kama amna frat salimiane bwana Yesu asifiwe Wacha nichukue nafasi kurudishia Mwenyezi Mungu asante kwa kutu, kutuleta umbali huu ametuleta kama hinji tunamshukuru. Nichukue nafasi nyingine yangu kusema shukrani sana kwa kanisa AIC. Ninakumbuka vizuri sana nikikuja hii kanisa kuomba kura ya jubilee na mlitupatia. Asanteni sana Mungu awabariki. Tumefika hapa leo kujenga kanisa, tumefika hapa leo kama vile inatakikana kuwa hivyo kufika kuomba kura na kurudi tena kusema asante na kurudi kufanya kazi yetu ni kutekeleza na hiyo ndiyo maana sana Aa, yangu ni kukushukuru sana awadipi kwa kazi ambayo mmetufanyia sana mmetufanyia kazi ya mabarabara na saa hii mnafanya mpango ya maji tupate maji kama nakuru county tunawashukuru sana tunashukuru usimamizi bora ya ofisi ya rais mkiwa pamoja 
watu yanakuru wako kitu kimoja na tuko kwa amani na sisi watu yanakuru tulikata kauli in 2013 kwamba agreement ambayo mlikuwa mmeweka kati yako na rais kwamba yeye kumi na wewe kumi tulikata tangu siku hiyo na mpaka sasa tunaangalia tutekeleze amen amen torehamweka na atia tuko pamoja si ndio kimi kibagenge safari ya leo inapangwa lini inapangwa safari ya kesho inapangwa lini na tume tume tumejumuika pamoja na wananchi wote wanakuru kwa amani kwa umoja na tunangojea tu 2022 tutekeleze hatuna mambo mengi na uh, tunakuombea unapotembea upate vema kutoka kwa Mwenyezi Mungu bwana governor utakapoanza upanzi wa miti ningependa sana ujumuishe kina mama na vijana ya nakuru our deputy president tunakupenda sana na ujue kutoka nakuru wewe ni mtoto wetu tunakuombea mabali mahali popote uendapo upate vema kutoka kila mahali north south east west upate vema na upate kiti yako sababu umepigania na umesimama na umefumilia kuna wale wapendwa wenye walikuwa wameomba viti your excellency walikuwa wameomba viti na wako faulu na wamekuwa na we kila mara na wako hapa hata sasa na wanakupenda na wanakuunga mkono pengine tu ukipata nafasi useme hai uwajue na ujue bado wamesimama na wewe sababu kazi yetu kama viongozi sasa ni kuunganisha watu wote hata wale watoto ya baba kana ni atia hata wale watoto ya baba si ndio tuunganishe wote twende pamoja tumesikia kisi, tumesikia isiolo tumesikia kila mahali tunangojea tu siku hiyo Mungu akulinde tukupatie kiti yako kwa amani amani aje asanteni sana Mungu abariki thank you very much your excellency i'm sure tunaendelea poa na time your excellency utaniomba tu nitambue viongozi kidogo kwa kusema tu aksimama Wakili Kabage naomba nikutambue alisema atakuwa deputy yako leo siku ya mchango. Naomba nitambue Kenya Water Towers eh, Professor Tanui kama uko hapo naomba usimame. Naomba nitambue uwepo wa chairman wa Rift Valley Water Services bwana Kitilit. I want to recognize the Takishi friends, the investors who came here to support the deputy president. Kindly stand up for the people to see you. Hao ni wageni wetu kutoka Taki ambao ni marafiki zangu walisema watakuja leo hii kusupport deputy president. Your excellence mimi siongei mwingi naongea kidogo alafu ni mwalike senator yangu ni machache. Naomba your excellence kwanza ni kushukuru kwa yale mambo mmetuendea na rais. Barabara ile ya kuanzia stone mbili kupitia naishi kwenda miti mingi your excellence barabara ya 1.3 billion Your Excellency imetimika raundi hii nimechaguliwa na mume ni support. Your Excellency naomba nikushukuru sababu ya ile barabara inatoka Elementaita ambayo iko karibu kufika Kianjoya ninaomba uendelee kuisukuma kabisa ndio ingie upande wangu wa Maonaro. Your Excellency pia naomba nikushukuru na His Excellency the President sababu ya barabara ile muli launch Kisiridi Narok na ile barabara inakuja paka kwangu Joro inaishia mahali kunaitwa Maonarok Ward. Your Excellency ninakuomba muendelee kunisukuma hiyo barabara na rais wetu. Na pia Your Excellency naomba nikushukuru sababu ya barabara ya Mauche ambayo ilikuwa inaanzia Silibweti kuja bombo kuja Mauche. Naomba nikushukuru sababu umesema kwa tamu yako na rais mtahakikisha hiyo barabara imeenda mpaka Sururu ndio ishikane na ile ingine ya kutoka Elementaita. Your Excellency maneno ile niliongea na rais na nimeongea na wewe ni ile nilikuambia Joro constituency dio constituency ya pili kubwa na Akuru County na shida kubwa ni maji Your Excellency. Naomba nikushukuru sababu nimetembea ofisi yako tumeongea mambo ya maji tukaongea mambo ya barabara tumeongea mambo ya stima sitaki ni kuchocha Your Excellency. Lakini naomba nikushukuru mbele ya wananchi wa Joro sababu umekubali Maji ambayo ni ya itare damu inaanzishwa kuresoi your excellency itapitia hapa Njoro constituency. Naomba nikushukuru your excellency sababu pia umenihakikishia kupitia serikali yako utahakikisha ile damu inaanzia pale Naiswet itakuja kutusaidia wandizile zangu zingine Kiingo, Lare, Ikisonga huko mbele your excellency. 
Your Excellency sasa kiniongea maneno mengi mambo zingine ni ndogo sana hasa sitaongea maneno mengi Your Excellency tu nimalizie hizi street lights ziko hapa na zile transformers zangu Your Excellency nisikumie hii constituency yangu ya giza kidogo itoke kwa giza Your Excellency namalizia kwa kusema hivi Joro constituency wakulima wangu wote wakaaji wote hapa majority hawana title deed kuanzia maonaro kuingia piave tuko na caveat pia your excellency imetutesa hapa ninaomba chukulie hiyo mambo yangu kwa usito ndio tukaweze kufaidika your excellency your excellency naomba nitambue the former mp mheshimiwa kiuna mheshimiwa kiuna i'm sorry nilikuwa nimekusahau mpigieni mheshimiwa my former mp Your Excellency mimi sitaki niongee maneno mengi wewe ni kiongozi ambao tumepanga mambo mengi hata kupanga kufika hapa wacha Mungu akubariki sababu nilikuomba kazi ya kwanza kufanya na wewe wacha tujenge nyumba ya Mungu na ninashukuru najua unaweza kuwa na salamu mingi mpaka ya rais wetu Your Excellency pia nakushukuru sababu mmeniahikishia mimi CDF nitatenga teni milioni yangu na wewe utanipea 90 million tujenge TTI ya vijana wetu ndio tukapate kuinua talanta ya vijana wetu. Your Excellency sitaki nichukue maneno mengi. Wewe nimekupanga na maneno yote. Wacha tu nikuombe Your Excellency hizo maneno zingine tutapanga na wewe na nimalizie kwa kusema maneno ni hayo tunataka maendeleo. Mumefurahi viongozi? Mumeona viongozi wote? Mumefurahi kufika kwao? Na mnasemaje watu wa constituency? Mumefurahi? Na Yesu Excellency amesema hii ni safari ya kwanza watakuja na watakuja na watakuja. Naomba ni mkaribishe senator wetu wa Nakuru County. Sina maneno mengi Yesu Excellency niko na discipline na time. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you are Excellency the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Uh, the governor Nakuru County, the governor Nyandarwa County, uh, all the honorable members of parliament that are present here today, uh, the bishop AIC Njoro, uh, AIC, and the church and the church leadership, Nawana Inchiwote, Hamujambo. Mumechoka. Hamujambo. Muriega. Muriega Regi. Uh, Your Excellency, Ikwanza Niseme, thank you very much for giving the time that you have given to the county of Nakuru. Uh, we were with you yesterday in Subukia, Natena Tukona Wewe Leo Hapanjoro. So as uh, the residents of this county, we know how much you value this county, and uh, we've seen how much you've done for us. And as we continue to walk this journey, we thank you for finding the time uh, to always come and be with us and help us with the projects that we need helping. Uh, to the AIC Church, I remember nilikuja kwa hii kanisa about a year ago, about a year and a half ago, when we were busy asking for votes and all that, and you gave me and told me about that vision of what you were trying to set up. And at the time, it seemed like such a big idea. But I'm happy and glad that I'm with you today as you walk towards realizing this idea. And I'm grateful to hear and happy that uh, the church is looking for ways to be self-sufficient so that you're able to continue doing what you need to do without having to call for Harambe's every time. So, Wakaaji um, Wanjoro, as we continue uh, forward, moving forward, Niseme Kwanza, we are very happy that election time in Maisha. Sivio. But I also thank you as the church for the leadership that you have taken katika maombi kuombea this country. We know kama Joro constituency, kama Nakuru constituency as well, Nakuru county, katika 2007 what we went through. So for us to have had the peace that we had in 2013, tunawashukuru sana your excellency the deputy president plus the president of the republic of this country. But above that also, we thank Wanainchi Wahi County for the peace that you have kept. So in that same line, let me take this opportunity to thank the right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga for the action that he did a few days ago. That handshake, yanya walikuwa nayo na our president Uhuru Moigai Kenyatta, will really bring peace to this country. Simulikuwa munataka peace. What else do we want? Sini peace. Ama hapo watuko pamoja. 
Na without one handshake, the temperature went from maybe 28 degrees. Sasa tuko pengine 5 degrees. Kuna shida hapo? Hakuna shida, sivyo? But, there is always a but, right? As we move forward, we ask Raila Odinga, as he comes on board, to help build this house and to help build this country. And as we move forward, we all know. And what you are not the motive for that? We are going to be going to 2022. To how? Can I know what she is doing? Let us do the Mutikere kia tunyone na mwakoka na ni mungo shedi, mungo shedi eti yodo hau. Neguo, ni mungo shedi eti yodo hau. Tuwe hamoe. Kana uo ake, kana uo ake woka. Gafari na uereko. Eri atu wajiri ere, tuwenti. Jiguwa gate video, tari hakuwa na uereko. So thank you very much. So as we move forward, tunajua kwanya tunaendelea. And we are very happy that the Jubilee government has taken on hi maneno ya development. Barabara zimeanza kujengo. Because every time we have come to this area, uh, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, kuna hiwa barabara kila mtu wamekua analia sana. But right now, it's under construction. So we thank you, and as we move forward, we support the government so that maendeleo yendeleo kufika hapa. Sivyo. So that we can get the roads done, we can get the hospitals uh, to get medicine, we can get it added down to start working so that the water can flow. Na wa mama wa wacha kuenda kuchota maji sayote na maji kukosa. Sibio. So your excellency, the deputy president, I stand here today as a senator of this great county to tell you that we are behind you, we are behind the Jubilee government and we are here to make sure that the manifesto ya Jubilee government itekelezwe these five years so that then we can move on another ten years with you. God bless you. Uh, let me welcome Ama Nivio. Siapo Nivio. Okay, yes. So kapla nikai chini, let me invite uh, our governor of Nakuru County, His Excellency uh, Lee Kenyanjui, to come forward as well. Your Excellency, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, my colleague, Governor Kutoka Nyandarwa, Viongozi ambao wameza kufika siku ya leo, our senator here, our MPs from all over, viongozi wa kanisa, buwana asifiwe. Buwana asifiwe tena. Tuko na furaha siku ya leo kuweza kupokea wageni wetu, na tujue deputy president ni wainchi mzima. Angekua Mombasa leo, angekua Kisumu, angekua Kwingine, lakini amechukua katia hizo zote akuje hapa na kuru na hata zaidi ya kuje AIC Njoro. Siniashiwa kubwa. Kwa hivyo, we want to welcome you, Your Excellency, and we support you for your contribution to the church. Kabla sija zungumza, ningeomba tu kutambua viongozi ambao wameza kufika hapa, ambao pengine wajaeza kutambulika, na nianze na wabunge wa hapo zamani, ambao pia walieza kushiriki katika maendeleo ya hapa na kuru county. Former MPs, Manyara, Naona, Kiuna, Asante sana. Thank you for coming, even Rebokoski from Kuresoe South. Pia tuko na chairman wa Rift Valley Water Services Board, ambaye ni board ya maana sana, kwa sababu ndi inatuletea maji hapa ya Itare, ambaye pia itakuja hapa, wana kitilit. Thank you very much. Pia tuko na rafiki wa kipekea wa kanisa hii, na county hii, ambaye pia ni mwekezaji hapa, wana buzeki, from Mwasingishi also, welcome for your support. Na vile vile pia, ningetaka kutambua uongozi wa county assembly yetu, tukiongoza na speaker wetu, wana Cairo, asante sana kwa kuja, pia tuko na majority leader, pamoja na chief whip wetu, Madam Chedi, thank you very much for coming, together with all the MCs. Maybe you can just stand up so that we recognize you. Asante sana kwa kuja, and thank you very much. Pia narifiwa kwamba tuko na Honorable Seronei, nominated MP under Waipa. Thank you very much. Bring your boss. <laughs> eh, ya mwisho ningetaka tuku muomba my deputy governor mbae pia yuko hapa, aseme jambo moja, alafu nizungumze yangu tu kwa ufupi. Welcome Dr. Koril, ambaye tunafanya na ye kazi, na ambaye pia mekua katika usaidizi mkubwa wa hapa county. Welcome Dr. Koril. Thank <laughs> you. 
<coughs> Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency, the Governors for Nakuru County, Mwishimiwa Lee Kinyanjui, and for Nyandarwa, Mwishimiwa Kimemia, Mwishimiwa Wote, my Senators, my MCAs, na waumini wa wote wa kanisa letu la AIC Amjambo Kwanza ningependa kushukuru kanisa letu la AIC kwanza kutu walika hapa hapa siku ya leo eneo hili la Njoro ili tusali pamoja Ya pili ningependa pia kuwashukuru sana kuanzisha hii mradi wa kutengeneza hii mall hapa Njoro. Mimi najua ni ya pili mlianzisha Nehemiah project ambayo imefanya ime, ime kazi mzuri. Sasa hii ya pili mall itasaidia waumini wa, wa, wa wetu wa mapastors wetu tunapoendelea eh, kuhubiri neno la Bwana. Ya pili ningependa kushukuru your excellency kwa kupata nafasi kwa siku hii leo na ya jana kukuja eneo hili letu la Nakuru ili kutusaidia kwa miradi mmoja ama nyingine na tunashukuru sana. Asante. Asante mheshimiwa kuria karibu. Ah, uh, ya mwisho your excellency I don't want to take much time. Ni vile tu niko na furaha siku ya leo umefika eneo letu na tunakushukuru sana na tunaomba tuendelee tufanye maendeleo hivi hivi asante Asante sana Dr. Korir naomba pia kumtambua Dr. Koros ambaye tulisimama naye akiwa chama mpinzani wangu wa karibu na rafiki pia asante kwa kazi ambayo tunazidi kufanya Sasa ningetaka kumtambua na pia kumkaribisha gavana wa kaunti jirani ya Nyandarwa aweze kuzungumza na pia kufikisha salamu zake mheshimiwa Kimeni ya karibu Bas asante sana your excellency the deputy president na viongozi wote protocol zote zikiangaliwa yangu ni machache tu wananchi wa hapa Njoro kutoa shukrani kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kazi mzuri ambao mnataka kufanya hapa Naniwambia kwamba jana tulikuwa na mheshimiwa deputy eh, president kule Nyandarwa na wananchi wa Nyandarwa wameniambia kanisa lote huko na wananchi wa huko tuje tu tusikie vile mnasema hapa mama sisi sisi tulikata kauli huko ya kwamba 2022 ni nani ni William eh, Ruto ya tutashikiliana na yeye tulikuwa nimekuwa nimetumwa na magovernors wote wa region yetu ya Central na Badeas magovernors kumi kuanzia hapa mheshimiwa Kinyajui kuelekea mpaka kule Juki kwa mheshimiwa Juki Tharaka Nithi na zote tumeshikana kusema ya kwamba tunataka kufanya kazi pamoja na serikali ya eh, Rais Uhuru Kenyatta na mheshimiwa William Ruto tukimshika mkono tukielekea 2022 eh, kulikuwa shida kidogo walikuwa wamesema tusiongee 2022 wananchi wenyewe akasema lazima iongewe kule Nyandarwa na tukaongea hiyo na nimeshukuru ya kwamba hata hapa tuko pamoja tuone ya kwamba 2022 hatutakuwa confused tutaendelea pamoja tukiwa kitu kimoja si namna hiyo wananchi wa Njoro namba 2 ni sema hivi wakati tulikuwa kuna kitu imeongewa hapa na mheshimiwa kule Meru East African Community eh, Parliament sisi tu tulikuwa tume na mzuri kusema ni kwa serikali wakati huo but we were advising na tulikuwa tume advise hii mambo ya eh, kumeza hii chama ingine inaweza kumeza alafu jogo na pasuka na ilifanyika namna hiyo eh, jogo kulikuwa na shida kubwa wakati huo lakini sasa hivi ni mzuri kushika na rais wetu tuseme yes karibu mheshimiwa rais eh, Laila eh, karibu kwa kwa serikali ya jubili lakini uje ukijua ya kwamba nyumba iko na wenyewe hii boma iko na baba iko na mama iko na vijana iko na wenyewe ambao wameshikilia hii nyumba kwa hivyo na ukija ujue tuna ajenda ine ambazo rais na deputy president wanashikilia kuna umoja wa nchi hii tunataka kumaliza ukabila tunataka kuweka industries hapa vijana wetu wapate kazi wananchi wanataka maji hapa tunataka viazi tutengeneze industry ya viazi iwe mzuri yaanze kuuzwa na, na ma, kama imesawa na mashindo tutafuta nchi za nje market ya nchi za nje maziwa yetu mnajua bado pia iko chini sana bei maji hapa mnajua ni shida na stima na barabara na mimi naunga mheshimiwa hapa kusema hii barabara ya kwenda mpaka 
pale mmoro kupita kwa pale pale toto hii baba kama ingewekwa rambi chukua tumeweka katika mjadala na pamoja na deputy president wetu itakuwa ni mzuri sina maana wananchi wetu wananchi hapo watapata kwe kuendelea mbele na sasa vijana wetu waweze kupata kazi katika katika zile industries ambazo ningependa eh, tungependa hapa tukutengeneza katika hizi ili region yetu kwa hivyo mimi nataka kuhakikishia ile mambo yameulizwa hapa na mheshimiwa Kemani mambo ya maji kutoka kule Nyandarwa kuja hapa E, na kuru mimi niko tayari tufanye kazi pamoja nilikuwa nimeita mheshimiwa Kitrit aje kule kwetu tuongee tujue vile tunajenga Kija dam hiyo maji inakuja mpaka hapa tunajenga Pesi dam maji yake inakuja hapa tunajenga Malewa dam maji yake inakuja mpaka hapa Rift Valley na tungependa tufanye kazi tukua kitu kimoja ile tu mtafanya ni kurudisha mkono tukilete maji tafadhali rudisheni mkono eh ugekono mapasho kiogo kwa he okedo kwa hivyo mambo ya kurete vitu tu mkono tu kidogo mnarudisha na hiyo ni kitu tunapanga na serikali kuu ili nchi yetu iweze kuendelea mbele sasa kuongea maneno mengi nitoe shukrani kwa kanisa la AIC nitoe shukrani kwa deputy president unakumbuka deputy wa 2208 kulikuwa na shida kuna watu walikuwa wanataka kuvunja hii kanisa la AIC na ilichukua mkono wa deputy president hapa najua amesahau tukaambia muhoro wakati huo nilikuwa security wale watu ambao wanataka kuvunja kanisa la AIC tulikuwa na bishop yego wakienda huko mahali yako washikwe waje washikwe haka hata kama ni mabisho washikwe tu waache bishop yego ajenge kanisa maana ilikuwa ni ukora ilikuwa inaendeshwa huko mara nini mara nini na hii kanisa imesimama i want to appreciate you project yenu tutashikia na nyinyi tutawasaidia mkuu anaambia ni Kenya njia niite wakati kuna kitu mimi tujenge kanisa vile tumejenga kanisa mingi pa, sa, sana pale kwetu na mheshimiwa deputy president wetu tunampenda sana na tunataka kuhakishia nimeambiwa na wananchi wa Nyandarwa deputy president ni kuhakishia vile tulisema jana hilo ni agano letu na wewe na wananchi wa Nyandarwa Mungu awabariki sana na tuko pamoja na upeleke salamu zetu kwa rais tuendelee kuona kwamba nchi yetu itakuwa kitu kimoja na vile mlisema Kenya haitapigana tena kwa sababu ya political competition we still remember up to now na mmeweka ahadi yenu na pia mkaweka Mungu mpere mkarudi kwa uchaguzi wakati tuidhani Kenya itaungua mka mkapiga magoti kwa Mungu na Mungu amewainua tena na mnajua mtafaulu na nchi yetu itasimama imara Mungu awabariki sana asante sana thank you asante mheshimiwa governor wa Nyandarwa uh, your excellency Kimemia kwa sasa kuna wabunge wawili ambao hawakuweka wakati tulikuwa tukiongea lakini kwa sababu wametoka mbali na tungetaka pia waweze kuzungumza naomba kumuita mheshimiwa Serone ambaye ni wa chama cha Waipa aweze kutusalimia na kisha baadaye nitamuita Moses Kuria aweze pia kuwakilisha salamu zake mheshimiwa Serone welcome Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, the Governor of Nakuru, Wanaliki Nyanjui, Governor wa Nyandarua, Wanakimemia, Senator, Honorable Members of Parliament, and Members of County Assembly, all protocol of SAP. Amjambo, to salamiane wale tafadhali, to salamiane. Wana sibiwe? Wana sibiwe? God is good all the time. Tumekuja kuchangia kanisa. Leo kuna siasa mingi sipokuwa tu. Nimesikiliza kwa makini kidogo na mimi nikiwa chama cha Waipa NASA nataka niwaambie mchunge ya jamaa amekuja kwenu. Chungie ni yeye. Hiyo jamaa akienda bali anaenda lazima ichomeke. I really sympathize with you. Sisi kama NASA sasa tuko sawa sawa. Tutaanza kujipanga. Deputy President amesema hapo awali kwamba nyinyi mjipange. Sasa tuko tayari Your Excellency tutajipanga lakini shida itakuwa kwenu. Asanteni. Asante mheshimiwa Serone. Naomba kumkaribisha mbunge wa Rais. Mbunge kutoka Katondo mheshimiwa Moses Kuria Makofi kwake. watu wa Njoro bwana asifiwe. Salimieni vizuri nimeokoka. Asanteni sana. Mheshimiwa <laughs> makamu wa rais. Gavana wetu gavana Kinyanjui, gavana Kememia. Rafiki yangu mheshimiwa Charity Kadambi. 
na watu wa Joro Hamjambo mimi kwanza ni ni obe msamaha tumechelewa kidogo nimetoka huko Odhaya wakati tu tulikuwa na sherehe kama hii ya kutangisha pesa ya kujenga kanisa la Mungu na watu wa Odhaya wamenituma wameniambia niwaletee salamu zao mmezipokea kwanza niwashukuru watu wa Joro tulikuwa na nyinyi hapa juzi wakati tulikuwa tunapigia kampeni mheshimiwa Kadambi wakati alishinda nomination ya chama cha Jubili na kidogo kidogo katokea maneno sijui yu kadhambi ni mmeru sijui ameolewa na mkale sijui nini tukakuja hapa nikawasihi tukasema hapa hii nakuru ndio tulizika ukabila Kenya hii na mkakubali mjipigie makofi kwa sababu mlifanya hivyo mmeenda kuhakikishia kwamba mheshimiwa kadhambi akiwa huko bunge ako kwa mikono sawa sababu mimi mheshimiwa ngojiri mheshimiwa Susan Kieka tamshika mkono na tutasaidiana na yeye mambo ya maendeleo hapa Njoro pia niseme vile nimesema hii nakuru hapa ndio tulizika ukapira wakati mheshimiwa rais na mheshimiwa makamu wa rais tukiwa hapa afraha wakabadilishana kofia hiyo ndio ilikuwa awamu ya kwanza ya kuzika ukabila Kenya hii tukaendelea tukaendelea tukafanya uchaguzi tukaomba Mungu uchaguzi yetu tukashinda tena tukaagua turudie tukasema hakuna shida na tukaendelea na maombi na mimi naona maombi yanafika kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu hata wale tulikuwa tunafikiria hawezi kuokoka tunaona wameokoka mimi sitaki kusema kama rafiki yangu mheshimiwa Selema hapa. Ndaka kusema ya kwamba mheshimiwa Raila Odinga mimi namkaribisha kwa serikali kwa mikono miwili. Ako karibu kabisa. Kwa sababu sisi wa Kikuyu tunasema afadhali kuchelewa kuliko kutofika, si ndio? Kapago shara ukiraki. Ukiraki tera. Sababu rafiki yangu nilikuwa nimemwambia tulipomaliza 207 na 2013 nilikuwa nimemwambia ni rafiki yangu waende nyumbani na mwai kibaki hakusikia sasa vile amekubali waende nyumbani na uhuru kinyata si sawa tu na eh? zitu nataka kuwasihi rais uhuru kinyata na mheshimiwa Raila Odinga washikane mikono eh Njua itakapoenda kutua washikane mikono waende nyumba. Sina namna hiyo. Na sisi tushikane na mheshimiwa makamu wa rais tuendelee Kenya mbe, mbele, si ndio? Maana Mungu anafanya kazi kwa jamii mingi. Sasa aliona sasa huu jamaa amefanya kazi mingi hata taifa hili, amefanya kazi yake. Lakini kile kilicho na mwanzo kiko na nini? Na mwisho. Sasa amemwambia ndio ulipe dhabi yako hapo zamani hii miaka tano imebaki ime fanya kazi ya Mwenyezi Mungu muendeleze Kenya bila uhuru Kenyata halafu mustaafu pamoja na vijana wachukue taifa waendeleze wapi mbele naye amekubali na amenihakishia kwamba 2022 hatasimama hii maneno niambie wale wengine wale wanalamika ya kwamba sijui sijui ya wako itwa sijui sijui afunge simu sijui simu itatoka Nigeria sijui itatoka wapi maisha na mlaio bwana eh ukichengwa umechengwa si ndio wakubali wamechengwa wakuje tukarangane na wao wale wanastaafu wastaafu tukuje tupigane huko mbele lakini ile ya muhimu sana sababu hii umoja ambao tuko nao saa hii Kenya ile mashida kidogo tuko na mashida ya katiba hapa tuna shida ya mawiano Tumalize hii yote ndio tukapofika mwaka wa 2022 uchaguzi tachaguana kama siku ya leo kesho kila mtu anaenda kazi yake sio kama hii saa hii tukichaguana tunafunga Kenya tunafunga Kenya miezi tatu, miezi nne kama Raila Odinga ako genuine na hii kuokoka yake ni tushikane tuhakikishe kwamba 2022 watu wakichaguana leo mshindi anajulikana kesho yake 
mtu wa kukamua anaenda kukamua watoto wanaenda shuleni wakulima wanaenda shambani sio kila siku kufanya kama siasa ndio tunakula breakfast lunch na dinner Mungu awabariki na Mungu awalinde na pia mimi nataka kusema kama vile Laila amerudi kama kuna mtu nimekosea hiyo miaka yote hata mimi mlisamehe eh? asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki asante sana Asante Mheshimiwa Moses Kuria Your Excellency Deputy President mimi nitasema tu maneno mawili ama matatu haswa nikizingatia kwamba hapa umekuja njoro ni sehemu ambapo tuko na ukulima wa hali ya juu na wakristo ambao wamekuja hapa siku ya leo kuanzia kesho watakuwa katika shambani mwao na hivyo basi ni vizuri nitaje tu mawili ambao ingekuwa ya muhimu kwanza nipongeze serikali kwa sababu kati ya mambo yale mane ambayo mliweza kutoa ya maana katika muhula huu mlisema food security ama nchi kuweza kujilisha itakuwa ndiyo jambo ya muhimu zaidi hapa kwetu na kuru na haswa hapa njoro chakula ambacho kinatoka hapa kuanzia ngano hadi mahindi pande ya maonara viazi na carrot na kila kitu kinatosha wakulima wakiweza kusaidiwa kulisha hata kaunti mzima sehemu zingine za nchi kwa hivyo ile tungeomba your excellency there are certain areas in Kenya that are endowed and if given a little support they can be able to make a change for the whole country and Joro is one of those places kama county tumeweza kutenga na tukasema kwamba hapa Joro we want to give it special attention na hata waziri wetu wa kilimo dr immaculate anatoka hapa kwenye Joro makofi kwake It is our recognition that the headquarter for agriculture not just in Nakuru but also in the whole country must be here in Joro. Tuko na Ijaton University, tuko na the best experts in agriculture, tuko na Kalro hapa na vituo vyote vya ukulima viko hapa. Kwa hivyo your excellency tayari nimekutajia kwamba tungetaka hapa kwetu Nakuru kuweza kushika taifa kuu the national government katika mambo ya ukulima na tumeanzisha tayari Pareto and i am happy that you, the government is allocating about 200 million shillings to support the parithram agenda here in akuru mambo ya avocado tumesema pia tungetaka kuleta hapa tumeambiwa tuweke miti wakati kumeanza kunyesha lakini hata zaidi ya miti tunasema we also want fruit trees so that you have both the cover and you also have the fruit kwa hivyo tutakuwa tukikuja hapa hivi karibuni kuweza kuanzisha rasmi mpango huo wa miti na kuweza kuanzisha kaunti nzima mambo kama hayo. Pia naibu rais tumeweza kuzungumza na mambo ya forest cover. Tunajua Nakuru County kama vile imetajwa na mbunge wa Molo. Kampuni kubwa sana ambazo ziko katika sekta ya miti ambao wanatengeneza ambao wanatoka hapa. Na tumekuwa katika mstari wa mbele kuweza kuwasihi kwamba sisi wote lazima tujui huwezi kukata mti ambao hujapanda. Kwa hivyo mimi na kuomba pia wakati ukifika wa kuanza kupanda miti the whole country i want us to start it here in akuru because this is where we have the greatest potential to send the message across and also to benefit all these investors who have come here your excellency ningetaka pia kukushukuru kwa sababu hapa kwetu njoro tumekuwa na shida mbili kubwa sana ya kwanza imekuwa uhaba wa maji kwamba hata hapa kwa town hakuna maji lakini sasa kupitia mradi wa itare dam tutatengeneza tank kubwa sana ambayo itaweza kulisha hapa town na pengine paka sehemu za rare na upo kwingine na tukipatia njoro maji tumeipatia uhai kwa hivyo nataka kukushukuru kwa mradi huo mkubwa wa maji ambao tayari umeanza na nina hakika kufika mwisho wa mwaka huu tutakuwa tukianza kuona matunda ya mradi huo ya pili pia ambayo imefanyika na ni ya maana nimeweza kukuelezea kwamba hapa njoro kuna shida kwa sababu watu wengi ambao wako na ploti hapa hawana title deeds. Ningetaka pia kukuomba the issue of title deeds in Joro and the larger Nakuru is a critical issue. Many companies, many people came together wakanunua mashamba hata sehemu za Rongai na kwingine lakini kufikia sasa hawajaweza kupata cheti cha kumiliki mashamba hayo. Nina furaha kwa sababu tumeweza kuzungumza na tutakuwa tukipatia wananchi hizo cheti wakati utakapotupatia hiyo nafasi. Ya mwisho wananjoro ningetaka pia kushukuru serikali kuu 
kwa sababu kama vile mnajua tuko na miradi karibu sita ambayo inagaramiwa na serikali kuu na ile inawakaribia sana ni hii interchange iko hapa ukienda pande ya town muda mrefu ilikuwa ukienda town hata ajali mingi zimepatikana hapo kwa sababu ya barabara ilikuwa na the wrong design that interchange alone is over 900 million na inakusaidia kuja hapa ndio uso ya hapa joro kwa hivyo mimi nina furaha siku ya leo nikija hapa njoro na pia nichukue nafasi hii kuwashukuru kwa sababu watu wa njoro ndio wamefanya nikasimama hapa you supported us you supported the party and supported the president accept our gratitude kwa hayo machache kwa heshima ya deputy president na kwa heshima ya kukubali kuja hapa siku ya leo i urge that we be upstanding na tumkaribishe asante Baba wetu wa skofu wa kanisa la AIC aliye hapa viongozi wote wa dini ambao wako hapa ndugu viongozi pamoja na wakristo na wananchi wa Njoro na Nakuru hamjambo hamjambo tena Bwana Yesu asifiwe Hebu unisalimie hewani hivi Bwana Yesu asifiwe Santeni sana. Kwanza mimi namshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ametupatia nafasi na ametupatia kibali tumefika kaunti ya Nakuru kwa mara nyingine tena hapa Njoro. Nataka niwashukuru wale wote ambao walishirikiana ndio tuweze kufanya sherehe hii ya harambe ya kanisa letu hapa wapongeza viongozi wa hapa wakiongozwa na mjumbe wenu leo asubuhi tumefungua jengo mpya ambayo itakuwa ni ofisi ya constituency ya Njoro na vile vile ofisi ya askari hapa Njoro na nimefurahi sana kufika hapa ili nipate pia nafasi ni washukuru watu wa Njoro na Nakuru kwa sababu ya kusimama imara pamoja na sisi mkasimama imara pamoja na rais na wanajubilii wote ambao walichaguliwa kaunti hii ya Nakuru kwa niaba yao wote kutoka mheshimiwa rais maseneta governor wabunge pamoja na MC wote waliochaguliwa nataka niseme kwenu asanteni sana ahadi tuliwapatia ya kwamba tutashirikiana pamoja na nini kishia kwamba manifesto ya jubili ambayo mlipigia kura sisi wote tutaungana kama viongozi katika kutekeleza wajibu wetu kama viongozi ya maendeleo kwa watu wa taifa la Kenya Mimi pile pile nataka niseme asanteni kwa viongozi wote wa Nakuru hapa kwa ushirikiano wao na kwa kufanya kazi kwa pamoja nataka niwashukuru viongozi wale waliotangulia walifanya sehemu yao kumbuka mjumbe wenu bwana Kiuna alifanya kazi na sisi na akaheshimu uamuzi wa wananchi 
akamuunga mkono dada yake mama kadhambi nimshukuru pia tabage na wale wengine wote ambao walishirikiana kama viongozi wa Njoro na Nakuru katika mambo ya uongozi wa kaunti hii na constituency yenu hapa kama vile viongozi hawa wamesema tuko na kazi nyingi ambayo inaendelea katika kaunti hii barabara ya kutoka Molo hapa kwenda Ulingurwani inaendelea kukarabatiwa na kuwekwa dhami upya barabara ya kutoka Silibwet kuja Ulingurwani kupitia bombo hapa chini all the way mpaka Mauche hiyo barabara karibu kilomita 120 imefika almost 60 70% inawekwa lami vile mmeambiwa barabara ambayo tuliwaahidi ya kutoka stone mbili kwenda mpaka naishi mpaka miti mingi hiyo barabara tumekamilisha procurement na magari itakuja hapa hivi karibuni tuanze kujenga hiyo barabara na kuweka lami itakuja hapa na kuru baadaye mwezi unaokuja kuanzisha barabara rasmi ya kutoka Subukia kupitia kule Solai chini kuja mpaka kuunganisha na Bahati ambayo barabara itaunganisha constituencies tatu na barabara zingine ambazo tumepangia na jua tulisimama hapa Njoro na tukawaambia barabara ya kutoka hapa Njoro kwenda Naiswet hiyo barabara tunapangia na tutawawekea lami Mungu akipenda hivi karibuni kwa hivyo nia yetu na mipango tuliyoweka tayari tutazidi na kusisukuma mbele najua tutafikia watu wote kwa mambo ya stima hapa nakuru tumewapatia watu laki mbili 200,000 new connections in four years na tumeweka tena pesa ingine kuhakikisha kwamba hiyo shughuli ya kuzongesha stima ifikie wananchi wengi inaendelea vile vile tukiwa hapa na kuru tulikuja mambo ya maji ya itare na ningependa kutangaza ya kwamba watu wa hapa njoro hii njoro yote hii tutaweka tank kubwa hapa ili watu wa Njoro waweze kupata maji vile vile watu wa Moro na Nakuru town watapata maji nyingi kuyabu. tutakuwa na maji ya miaka 30 ya Nakuru town kutoka hii project ya Itare na vile vile tunapanga dam nyingine hapa ya Neswit na tunatanga, tunapanga dam zingine ili tuweze kuwafikia watu wengi zaidi na maji katika kaunti hii ya Nakuru. Mimi vile vile nataka nitangaze ya kwamba vile tulisema wazee wote wa miaka sabini, kina mama wa miaka sabini, wale mavu pamoja na mayatima, mayatima wote tutawaweka katika mpango ya cash transfer wapatiwe pesa kila mwezi na pia kuanzia mwaka huu wale mavu mayatima na wazee wote tutawaweka kwenye bima ya afya ya NHIF ndio wakienda hospitalini watibiwe na hiyo matibabu ilipiwe na serikali ya Kenya kupitia kwa bima ya National Hospital Insurance Fund Mimi nataka niwaulize machief na assistant chief na wazee wa mitaa na county commissioner na assistants wao wote washughulike na kuhakikisha kwamba hiyo mambo ya cash transfer ya wazee na walemavu na mayatima kama kuna mahali kuna pengo tuwashughulikie kwa sababu ni haki yao na tayari tumetoa pesa ya kutosha hiyo kazi iweze kutimika na bwana county commissioner mimi nasikia kuna watu wanalalamika ya kwamba hawajapata pesa zao. Tunataka kujua ni kwa sababu gani na pesa tayari zimetoa. Vile 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 tulisema watoto wote wa day school 
waende shuleni wasome vile watoto wa primary school wanasoma na kurudi nyumbani bila ya kuitishwa pesa yeyote we want to be very clear wale watoto watalipa ni wale wako kwa boarding school kwa sababu lazima walipie chakula lakini masomo walimu na ile mambo mengine vitabu hiyo sasa itagaramiwa na serikali ya Kenya wewe mzazi ukununua uniform mtoto aende shule arudi nyumbani jioni hakuna kulipisha pesa tena kwa sababu tunataka kila mtoto wa Kenya bila ya kujali mzazi yako wa hali gani mwenye hako na pesa mwenye hana pesa wote wasome tuwe na usawa katika taifa letu la Kenya and we want members of the provincial administration to ensure that no children going from standard 1 to form 4 in our day schools they must learn free of charge as the government has directed na kama kutakuwa na walimu hapo wanajaribu kiingereza mingi na ukora tutakutana na wao asiweze kusimama ungependa na wanisikize vizuri mtu asikuja akasema ati hakuelewa kama wewe uelewi tafuta mtu ya kutafsiria wewe maneno ni uzuri ile tumesema tumesema watoto waende shule na masomo vile vile mimi ningependa kusema ya kwamba vile tumefika hapa katika kaunti yenu ya Nakuru tunajua kaunti hii ni kaunti ya wakulima tayari serikali ya Kenya imeleta mbolea karibu mifugo 1040 hapa na Kuru County store yenu ya njoro hapa tayari tuko na mbolea ya kutosha kila mtu unaweza kwenda hapa katika store yenu ya njoro na bei tumepunguza sasa mfuko moja ni shilingi 1500 sio ile ya zamani we have brought it down kwa sababu nia yetu ni kuhakikisha kwamba tunawasaidia wakulima wazalishe chakula ndio tuweze kuondoa shida ya njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya vile pia mjumbe wenu amesema kuhusu mambo ya title deeds shida kubwa ya nakuru ilikuwa ni mambo ya caveat tumeweka mazungumzo na tumefikia mahali pazuri kabla ya mwisho wa mwaka huu kwa mapenzi ya Mungu tutakuwa tumekamilisha mambo ya caveat na kuondoa caveat kwa titles ya watu wa nakuru waweze kushughulika na mambo yao kama vile wa Kenya wengine wanavyokwenda na nimeongea na governor wenu wale bado wako na letters of allotment hawana title deeds kuna sehemu nyingi na kuru hii hakuna title deeds nimesema ya kwamba wizara ya lands watakuja hapa in the next one month wafanye kazi na county government hawa watu wote wapimiwe kila mtu shamba yake kulingana na ile letters of allotment wako nazo kila mtu ambaye huna title deed the CEC in this county in charge of lands will work with our ministers and the county government to make sure that hii matatizo ya kukosekana title hasa katika sehemu hii ya Njoro tunaiondoa kila mtu apatiwe haki yake ya kumiliki ardhi ili tuweze kwenda mbele tukiwa sawa kama wa Kenya wa hapa na kuru tukilinganisha na wakenya wengine wote. Kwa hivyo mimi nimefurahi kufika hapa sitaki kusema sana. E, tuko hapa na Technical Training College ambayo tulizungumza pale Medini na Mheshimiwa Kiuna. Sasa Gadambi amekuja kwa ofisi yangu na unajua sasa mama ni sio rahisi kukataa maneno ya mama kwa sababu sasa tayari tunamwambia aweke milioni kumi kwa CDF serikali ya Kenya itaweka milioni tisini Ijenga eh kuna ardhi hapa Njoro ambayo tunaweza kujenga
college ya teknolojia ya watoto wa hapa na watoto wa kaunti hii ya Nakuru na watoto wa Kenya kutoka sehemu zingine that we will do and i want the member of parliament to begin that process uh, and we will provide funding from the national government to support the technical training college here mwisho mambo ya kupanda miti sisi tunatambua ya kwamba nakuru hii kuna wafanyabiashara wengi kuna watu wengi wanafanya kazi katika makampuni ya somilas na biashara hiyo ya mambo ya miti lakini vile vile tunatambua umuhimu wa misitu maji na uhai kwa hivyo hata ingawaje biashara hiyo lazima iendelee lakini lazima tuweke utaratibu wa sawa sawa tuhakikisha kwamba miti inalindwa na tumeamua ya kwamba kwa muda tutazimamisha mambo ya kukata miti mpaka tuwe na mpango sawa sawa ya kuhakikisha kwamba biashara hiyo itaendelea lakini haitaharibu misitu yetu na haitatukozesha maji kwa sababu maji ni uhai kwa hivyo tumeweka mpango ya sawa sawa sasa tuko na sheria mpya ya Forest Act tumeweka communities ndani katika kusupport mambo ya misitu na hivi karibuni tutatoa mwongozo sawa sawa na tumeamua sasa ya kwamba lazima kwa vyo vyote tuhakikishe kwamba tunafikia ile azimio yetu ya 10% kabla ya mwaka wa elfu mbili na ishirini na mbili ndio tuwe na miti ya kutosha tuwe na hali ya mazingira ya sawa sawa katika taifa letu ndio tuweze kwenda mbele kama wa Kenya so all the stakeholders must know that we will not unnecessarily hurt any industry but we are going to work together to make sure that industry continues but matters of environment sisi wote tunashughulika nayo ndio tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba mambo iko sawa tayari tumehakikisha kwamba kuna miti seedlings milioni 130 ambayo tutapanda this year katika taifa letu la Kenya na tunawauliza wa Kenya wote tupande miti kule manyumbani kule mashambani kule kwenye sehemu za chemichemi kule katika misitu misitu yetu and the Kenya Forest Service is going to provide the plan for us to plant trees in this year's campaign to work on the afforestation of the degraded areas and all the other areas that require planting of trees around the country nataka niwaulize wale wote ambao wanafanya biashara ya miti so millers na wale wengine waanze kujipanga kila mtu utafute mahali utapanda miti ndio uende huo unakata unayapeleka kwa mambo yako ile miti ya kule kwa msitu tunataka iwe ya kuchunga maji lakini tutakuwa na program ya ku phase out pole pole hatutawaharakisha tutawapatia nafasi ya kupanda miti tukiendelea tukiendelea baadaye tutafunga msitu kila mtu sasa aenda apande miti yake akikata wakati anataka namna hiyo eh lakini tutapanga polepole na nyinyi hakuna shida hatuta wadudumu afanya polepole tukue na watu wacha sana najua mkuja hapa kusikiza hii maneno inakaa namna gani we will have a best out program we are responsible and we are reasonable but we want the best for our country kwa hivyo tutashirikiana sisi wote. Asanteni sana. Mambo ni vile mmesikia Kenya hasa watu wa Nakuru. Mnajua safari ya kuunganisha Kenya tulianzisha hapa Nakuru na rais wetu. Na nyinyi watu wa Nakuru ndio muliweka msingi wa kuunganisha Kenya na tukasema wakati wa 2013 Kenya hii hatutaki tena 
siasa ya kisirani na ya ukabila na ya fujo na ya chuki na ya kutengana tukasema tunataka siasa ya kuunganisha wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya na Mungu akatujalia hiyo safari imeshika kasi watu hawakuamini 2013 ya kwamba inawezekana wananchi wa Kenya kushirikiana na kufanya kazi pamoja hata kama walikuwa hawafanyi kazi pamoja mbeleni mpaka leo kuna wenye hawajaamini hata jana ama juzi wakati rais na mheshimiwa Raila walikuwa pamoja kuna watu bado wanashangaa hawajui ya kwamba ile safari tulianza 2013 ya kuunganisha Kenya Kenya hii imezidi na kuunganika hapa mumeona wabunge kutoka Isiolo mumeona wabunge kutoka Nyamira hao wabunge wote ni wajubilii hatukukuwa na jubilii kule Nyamira hatukukuwa na jubilii kule Kakamega hatukuwa na jubilii kule Bungoma hatukukuwa na jubilii sehemu nyingi lakini kwa sababu mheshimiwa rais alisema tuunganishe wa Kenya wote wa Kenya wengi tayari wamekubali mwito huo na mnaona ya kwamba hata wale ambao watu walikuwa hawaamini ya kwamba inawezekana wale tulishindana na wao katika uchaguzi uliopita leo tunaweza kusimama mahali moja na kusema tufanye kazi pamoja Kenya tupeleke mbele tofauti zetu tuweke kando ndio Kenya hii tuweze kutimiza ile mahitaji na tushughulikie mambo ambayo yanauzu wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya It is a great moment for our country and the foundation that we laid in Nakuru five years ago the foundation of re-engineering the politics of Kenya so that it is no longer about division and tribe and hate and that we are going to unify this country and build the bridges that will bring people from all communities from all regions and faiths together as one country yesterday and the, or the day before was a culmination of that effort of bringing the people of Kenya together and now the national discourse and conversation should no longer be about politicians and elections and those other things it should now be about the empowerment of the citizens of our country millions of young people who don't have jobs through industrialization we can get them jobs millions of families who cannot afford health through national hospital insurance and they can um, pay for their families to acquire health and we can produce food and eliminate the shame of hunger in our society that is now the focus going into the future the politics of the last election politics of power the politics of sharing this or that and politicians is now behind us we must close ranks as leaders from across the political divide elected in every political party work together so that we can push the transformation of our country forward because that is what is important for the ordinary citizens of our great republic and that is what they expect legitimately from us as leaders kwa hivyo mimi nataka ni wakishie ya kwamba hii Kenya ile msingi tuliweka na kuru hapa hiyo ni msingi dhabiti Kenya inakuja pamoja mheshimiwa rais kama kiongozi wetu amewaleta wale wengine wote na sisi tunasema ya kwamba wale wamesalia waungane na sisi na mheshimiwa rais na kiongozi wa NASA sisi wote tuungane sasa tupeleke taifa letu mbele
mambo ya siasa itazungumziwa wakati wa mambo ya siasa ikifika saa hizi wananchi wanataka kujua barabara itajengwa sitima wataunganishiwa watoto wao watasoma tutakuwa na maji mambo ya afya itashughulikiwa haya ndio mambo ya muhimu ambayo sisi kama viongozi bila ya kujali tumechaguliwa na sehemu gani ni wa kutoka jamii gani tunaenda kanisa wapi sisi wote ni sasa kuungana tushughulikie mahitaji na matakwa ya wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya na mimi naamini ya kwamba watu wa Njoro na Nakuru mtatuunga mkono ni hivi ama sivyo jamani tutaungana tuihamwe tuko pamoja hii siasa ingine hii tupunguze siasa hii ingine tupunguze tupunguze ndio tuweze kuendelea na mambo ya maendeleo na mimi nawashukuru mimi namuuliza my brother Lee mambo ya miche ya miti hii kule Nyandarwa tulikuwa jana wamesema watapanda 10 million trees hapa nakuru nafikiri inatosha 30 40 million ndio inaendelea namna hiyo sasa na tutashirikiana na wewe i want to give you our commitment we are going to work with you work with the county government so that we can improve the environmental requirements of this great county of nakuru asanteni sana jameni na watakia baraka ya mungu tumekuja hapa sasa kufanya ile kazi ambayo tulikuja kufanya bishop inaanza namna gani mungu kazi tusaidia Oh. Nimeambiwa kuna mungwana hapa anaitwa Washira. Anahitaji usaidizi mahali. Nitatafuta shilingi milioni moja nimtumie huyo Washira. Alafu eh ile mtu yanakuru wewe ni Haya, kanisa tayari imekusanya how much is this? 3 million 285,000. Ukige makofi. Thank you very much. Hui mungwana anasindikiza unaito nani? Haya, Joffrey Visharu anasindikiza na shilingi elfu mia tatu. 300,000. Thank you very much, my friend. 10,000 from Bishop. Thank you very much. Aya. Wale wakujeni, kujeni, kujeni. Wageni wakanisa wako hapi? Nasikia kuna wageni wakanisa. Aya, mungwana anaitua kuzeki, ya kuche. Maura wa IIC Shabab, Moro Line Chairman, eh, Kevin Karanja na Dr. Njogu. How are you? Good man. Haya. Haya, huyu mungwana amesema atatumana lori moja ya simiti ya shilingi elfu miyatana. Haya, Chairman wa Moro Line, elfu miyamoja. Haya, sana my friend. Mwaura, shilingi elfu wa msini, ande sana. Dr. Njogu, ande sana daktari. 30,000, thank you very much. Awa ndiwa mwadofu wa kanisa siyo. Aya. Mgine mimi ni kuatilie. Mimi, wakati ni mekuja hapa, meshimio wa rais, amenituma na shilingi milioni mbili. Mimi wakati nimesikia mambo ya hapa nitaongeza ingine milioni tatu. Milioni tano. Ndio. Alafu 
tutatueleza ikifika hapo katikati tutakuja tena. Mheshimiwa chairman wa Rift Valley Water bwana Kitili tulingatana. Shilingi 1030 asante sana.
Hili nyoro wa kutoka kule Moranga, shilingi elfu mia moja. Dr. Koril, ambaye ni deputy governor wetu, elfu wa msini. Awe yu baba. Joseph Nyara, sande sana, shilingi elfu ishirini. Lida wa majority, shilingi elfu kumi. Nana, sande sana, two thousand. Jebiti MCA wa kutoka kule Rongai, shilingi elfu kumi. Catherine MCA wetu wa nakuru hapa, shilingi elfu kumi. Musa MCA wa Mentaita, ten thousand. Thank you, Musa. MCA wa Keringet, ten thousand. Five thousand. MCA wa Filipo, five thousand. Susan MCA wa Joro, five thousand. All the boys sing wa Mario Shoni, five thousand. Yuki wa Baruk Ward, shiriki elfu tano. MCA wa area, shiriki elfu kumi. MCA wa Mosok Salka, shiriki elfu tano. MCA El Bangon, shiriki elfu tano. MCA Xrose wa Gilgil, 5,000. Recho Maru wa Sajangwan, elfu tano. Bishop Moya, awa yu Bishop. Thank you very much. How is the Bible? Ah, yeah. Asante. The Futano Kutoka Askofu Wetu, Barishiwe Piyasa. Gladys Kamuren, Shilingi El Futano, Asante Sana. MCA Wakihingo, Shilingi El Futano. Vice Chairman Monoline, Wanagibira, Shilingi El Futano. Mama MCA Wangome, Shilingi El Fumili. Thank you very much, my friend. Mama MCA, Mama Andesana, Dugu yetu hapa, Meshimiwa Kiuna, Dugu yetu wa Zamani, Elfu Ishirini, Richa of the Day, Shiringi Elfu Kumi, Andesana, Shiringi Elfu Moja, Thank you my friend, Aya, Asante. Vice Chairman of Business Community, 5,000. Elfu kumi na tano kutoka kwa na Mwasera. Elfu tano kutoka MCA wetu wa hapa chini. Maendelewe ya wanawake, 1,000. Joyce Jitoa wa Tinez, 1,000. Richard Rob, yunge elfu tatu wa Zante. Gavana wetu wa Nyandarwa kwa na Kimemia, 100,000. Senator wetu wa hapa na kuru, shiringi elfu miyamoja. Mama Suda Nkina. Gavana wetu wa na kuru, Lee Kinyanjui, shiringi elfu miyamoja. Geoffrey Mwangi, ambaye ni CEO wa NHIF, anatoka hapa, ametumana elfu miyambili. Sisi kwa agrikacha, sade sana, shiringi elfu wamsini. Na sisi jenda, shiringi elfu tano. Anzola Dogo, sade sana, 2000. Ama yu? CEO wa yu, sade sana, shiringi elfu tano. Yomune. Yoksa Ruchicha, sade sana, 5000. Thank you very much. Mwishimiwa Murkomen, hamechuma kufitia kwa mtumbewenu elu kwa msini, hata waletea. Mwishimiwa Dwale, tena elu kwa msini. Naomba tutulie kidogo ili 
Hawezi kukamilisha ibada ya leo. Haya basi. Ah, nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu pia siku ya leo na vile ambavyo zote tumeweza kushiriki katika mchango wa siku ya leo. Your Excellency the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya tunakushukuru sana 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 pamoja na waheshimiwa wote ambao wamefika katika siku ya leo kama kanisa tunasikia we have been greatly honored uh, by you uh, visiting us and conducting the fundraising for today na kwa hivyo ningependa sisi wote tuweze kusimama na kushiriki katika maombi ya mwisho and then from there we are going to go for lunch thank you very much let us pray Baba wetu wa mbinguni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakushukuru sana kwa sababu ya siku ya leo na hasa kwa sababu ya kumleta kiongozi wetu the deputy president of the republic of Kenya na kumpea nafasi ya kuwa pamoja nasi na Mungu wetu wa mbinguni tunakushukuru sana kwa sababu ya unyenyekevu wake ambao tumeona mara nyingi ya kwamba wakati anapoingia katika kanisa lako anakaa pale na anamalizia pamoja na sisi na kwa hivyo bwana tuombe ya kwamba utambaliki twamuinua mbele yako katika jina la Yesu Mungu wetu wa mbinguni ambaye anaposafiri na anapofanya kazi za taifa hili baba wetu wa mbinguni ukaweza kumpea neema na ukaweza kumpea ushidi ambao umetoka kwako bwana ni asanti kwa sababu ya kazi ambayo imefanyika siku ya leo twakushukuru kwa sababu ya wageni wote ambao walikuwa wamekuja twakushukuru bwana kwa sababu ya waumini wetu wa kanisa letu baba wetu wa mbinguni pokea sifa na utukufu wote kwa yale yote ambayo imefanyika nyika katika mahali hapa. Bwana tumefurahia kuwa pamoja na wewe, tumefurahia kuketi na kusikiza kutoka kwako na sasa tunaomba ya kwamba neema yako Bwana ikaweza kueda pamoja nasi. Katika jina la Mungu Baba na la Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu tumeomba na watu wote wa Mungu tuseme Amen. Amen. Asante. God bless you. Hello. Hello, tafadhali kidogo. Ah, tuna mtoto wako hapa anaitwa Michelle. Na baba yake anaitwa Karanja tafadhali. Njoo ili umchukue mtoto wako. Baba Baba Michelle, bwana Karanja. Njoo umchukue mtoto. Haya. Tafadhali wageni wetu msiondoke. Tuko na chakula na tungewaomba mtulie kidogo ili kichakula kiletwe na tule pamoja